Hello and welcome to the very first tutorial in CATIA for engineering drawing. As we know, CATIA is considered as the biggest and strongest CAD program. So now I am starting CATIA and here is the starting interface. And just like, uh, and this is the interface you can see start. In our version 5, file, edit, view, insert, tools, window, help. So now let's make to the file and make new. And here when you start new, you have different types. That is one of the reason why Katia is a strong CAD program for the money options it has and we will see later in the workbenches as well so now let's start a part simply it is a part and okay and here you can enter the name just simply part one and this is part one so now i am going to go to the important menu for the interface it's called the option it is found in tools and options in this menu you can deal in many stuff about the interface i'm going to change the the units let's go to the units general and here you can find the parameter and measure units in the length be sure that it is in millimeter the mass in kilogram time in second so in case it is not in millimeter you can change it here so make sure it is in millimeter. We're going to use the millimeter and press OK. Also another thing for the auto save. Let's again go to the option general and the auto space auto automatic backup every 15 minutes. So it will be automatically saving your designs and another thing i'm going to show is the workbenches which are unique for katia we have the infrastructure it contain a lot of workbenches to work with mechanical design and shape analysis digital mockup and a lot of work pinches for example the most used one for the beginners and who are new to katia it is in the mechanical design part design and here's ask you to create a new part i'm going to make okay just close that one and if you want to change the in the workbench for example we have we are in the part design workbench we have this set of tools the extrude and the basics features for example if you go to the assembly design it will work with assembly and you can see here how the assembly tools and you can go to sketcher mold design wheel design and each of these have its own set of tools for example if i go to the generic shape design okay so it has its own tool set i'm going to close everything and show you that we're going to start with the part design workbench in our working 